بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد what is the real meaning of zuhud or asceticism not having a love for the dunya and this was compiled by our brother abbas abu yahya حفظ الله تعالى عبد الرحمن بن علي بن محمد بن جوزي رحمه الله تعالى said Zuhud is not just leaving wealth or giving wealth to show that you are generous and strong nor to get people's heart to incline towards you on the contrary Zuhud is leaving worldly things due to having the knowledge that is insignificant in relation to the immeasurable value of the hereafter Shamsuddin Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr ibn, J- ibn Al-Qayyim Al-Jawziya said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, The intent of Zuhd is not rejection of having possessions, since in fact Suleiman and Dawood alayhim afdal salatu was salam were the ones who had the most Zuhd from amongst the people at their time, and they had both been endowed with wealth, land, and women. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had definitely the most zuhud above all mankind and he had nine wives Ali ibn Abi Talib Abdurrahman ibn Auf Zubair and Uthman radiyallahu ta'ala anhum were from those who had zuhud even though they had wealth and there were many others like them Al Hasan said having zuhud of the dunya is not prohibiting oneself from that which is halal nor by wasting money but it is knowing that what is in Allah's hand is more trustworthy than one's own self and what one has as possessions Ibn Rajib rahimahullah ta'ala said Abu Suleiman said do not testify for anyone that he is a zahid since indeed zuhd is in the heart so asceticism in Islam is not that a person just leaves wealth and 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 is wasteful and extravagant with wealth but a person who is zuhud does not allow for that wealth to be uh attached to their heart they don't cling to the life of this world but rather they use the wealth that they have if Allah has bestowed upon them wealth then they use it for the hereafter they use it to come closer to Allah and for the good things and halal things in this life to bring them closer to their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and anything i said that was correct was from allah anything i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam